hello to you watching. All right, fourth and last but not least, my eyeshadow palettes. Let me grab them. I have 10 eyeshadow palettes. So one you've already seen is the Solstice and it's my one month one palette for the month of October uh, 2020. So if you wanna see that, be on the lookout for either a video or an Instagram post. We'll see. Okay. Anyway, on to the palettes I will show you because I'm not currently working on them. Okay, so at first, I have a Sephora Magnetic Palette, and now this has one, two, three, four shades from five palettes in it that I depotted and moved in, into one. So these Urban Decay ones here are from both the Naked 2 and Naked 3 palettes. So I think these two bottom ones are from the Naked 2 palette and these top three are Naked 3. These rectangle ones here are from the Boss Lady Beauty Agenda from Too Faced. Um, and then the square ones are from the Lorac Beauty and the Beast palette. And then this random circle one is from the Urban Decay Distortion palette. So as you can see, I currently have pan in four of these shades. And spoiler alert, this is gonna be my pan that palette for November and December. So be on the lookout for that video. Okay, next, I'm gonna go by brand, I guess. So I'm gonna do my two that I only have one. Okay, so this is the Just Peachy palette from Too Faced. And so, you can see that, no pan, but it was a one month one palette at one point. So there's a good dip in peach butter and peaches and cream but and you can kind of see that I did use the other ones but there's they're they're hard they're mats and they're all hard pressed um okay next I've got the Tarte on uh, a Rainforest of the Sea volume two there's that I have pan in two shades here in marina and in conch so, oh look, Inception. Um, oh, that's fun. That's my mirror in the back. But yeah. Okay, so that's those two. Next, I'll go on to the two Huda's. I have two of the little nine palette Huda ones. And now this is the emerald, and I have pan in this one, and then the center one. These are glitters, so that makes sense. I have a nice dip going in the two green mattes also. Oh, and the the gold green at the bottom. But yeah, so there's that one. And I got this one because green's my favorite color. And then I liked the look of this one, but it's one of my newer palettes. And so I haven't used it much. I think I've only used it like twice. So there's no pan in that one. But hopefully I can get some good use out of it in 2021. Okay, next. So I'm gonna do ColourPop next, and I have the Zodiac and the Yes Please palette. So the Yes Please, I've got no pan. I've got some dips, but no pan. And the Zodiac palette, I decluttered a couple things and rearranged the colors. So I do have pan in this shade here, which is technically the Gemini, I think, but I rearranged the color, so you can't trust the names. <laughs> okay, so, and last but not least, the Urban Decay palettes I have. 
I used to have all of the naked, like the first four naked palettes, but I gave away my naked one to a friend um, and I depotted my naked three and naked four, or naked two and naked three. But I still have the naked heat mostly untouched, but all encased. And then my final palette is also my oldest palette, the Urban Decay Electric. And this one, you can see some use dips, and since they're such bright colors, you don't really need to use that much. But I have Pan in the Silver Revolt. So yeah. And that's my eyeshadow palette collection. Uh, I used to have a lot more. I used to have probably almost 30. Much like my other makeups, I've been doing a good job of decluttering, giving away, using up. Um, so yeah, that's my makeup collection, each individual section. They're all short videos, so if I th put them all together, it's a nice long video. But I uh, hope you enjoyed, and thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.